You might be wondering why I'm a little bit dolled up just to clean, but if you would have seen my last video, then you would know. So if you haven't, then go get caught up. Like, what are you doing? So obviously right now I'm straightening up my kitchen and you might be also wondering, what does this got to do with not having a job? <laughs> well, if you've ever been unemployed, then I just feel like, you know, you'll know. If you know, you know. But before sharing tips for staying motivated, I wanted to share this for a few reasons. The reality is that something like losing your job and idleness can cause a domino effect of unproductivity in other areas of our life. And if nothing else, the pandemic showed us that by kind of just, you know, stopping our normal activities and isolating us from everyone else. Unemployment can quickly lead to becoming idle at home, which is a recipe for laying around, being a couch potato, and letting our household chores build up. Hence, we're here. <laughs> So not only will you understand if you've ever been unemployed or without a job in your adult life, but I also know that people who struggle with things like depression and anxiety will understand as well. These are all things that can just kind of lead us to become idle at home. I know I'll keep using that word. That's going to be a trend throughout the video. <laughs> but these are all things that can just lead us to neglect our responsibilities. And, and that's, you know, not a shameful thing. I see some people, you know, just kind of showing their non-glamorous realities to social media but for the most part I truly think that there's just not enough um I know you know my Gen Zers or my Millennials people my age <laughs> I know y'all can relate I just feel like with this being you know a social media generation and I'm not just about to bash social media but with this being a social media generation I think so many people only show fragments of their lives uh, leading a lot of people to compare themselves to something or someone that presents itself as reality but it's really not I repeat, social media is not reality. And I know that I'm not holier than thou. I've definitely fed into plenty of social media waves before, but I can still recognize that this is, I think, a huge issue. Um, and I just take transparency and realness very seriously here on my channel. So that's why showing things like this is very important to me, especially, you know, for those of you who have been following my journey. But um, yeah, I digress. on how to stay motivated while not having a job. The first thing that I wrote down is having community. Um, I've talked about this before on my channel, but I just think it's so important. I mentioned the pandemic earlier in the video. The reason why I'm bringing it up again is because if nothing else, I think most people learn, some people already knew this, but I think most people learn just how important it is um, to not isolate ourselves. Isolation can lead to so many things, but most importantly, I think it just amplifies whatever it is that we're going through. Oftentimes, you know, idleness, there's a saying, I don't know, somebody knows it. If you know what I'm talking about, put it in the comments, but idleness leads to something or I don't know, you know, leads to something, um, something bad. <laughs> and I think the point is that, you know, being by ourselves ultimately for too long, uh, we get inside of our own head and it often just doesn't, you know, it's not productive or healthy. So in regards to being unemployed, you know, you're probably in the house more often than not. Um, if you have people around you like a family, that's great. But if not, you probably have to make more of an effort to surround yourself with people. But I think that doing that will really help you to stay in good spirits. And ultimately, right, it'll help you. When you're in good spirits, you're more motivated to do things. You're more motivated to be productive, um, et cetera, et cetera. The good thing about having community also is that those people can hold you accountable. So not only does it kind of uplift you to be around people oftentimes, um, or even if, you know, you're an introvert, you know, oftentimes we still need, I think, human interaction. I think though having people in your life also who are able to say, hey, how's it going? Were you able to do this job application? Or, hey, how are you doing? Just checking in on you. I wanna make sure that you're, you know, not sulking away in the house all day. That is golden. You want to be able to have people in your life that can hold you accountable and push you. You know what I'm saying? Why did I say that like that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yes, yeah, super important. If they know that you said you were going to submit a certain job application or if they know that you have a certain goal, you can even ask them and have an accountability partner um, 
to be like, hey, can you check in with me? Um, I'm not feeling the best and I wanna make sure that I get this done. There you go. My second tip is to get outside and get some sun, y'all. I don't know if it's just me, but I find that, you know, even if I'm not having the best days, sometimes just going outside and, um, you know, however the weather is, but most of the times so when it's shiny, um, it also just lifts your spirits. I don't know, I think there's something about nature, um, but also something about just like seeing life going on and seeing other people um, can motivate you to want to emulate some of that energy. I know for me, I could be having a bad day, but then I'll go outside and see people walking around. I live downtown, so I don't know if you guys could tell, but I live in a loft. I live in downtown, so going outside and seeing people, you know, living their life, walking, talking, being lively, it kind of just naturally cheers me up a little bit too and, and not even in a conscious way but sometimes in a subconscious way I'm like let me go do this or let me go do that or let me spend a few extra minutes to just soak in the day you know um, those things can go a really long way so go outside get some sun that's good for you too you know even if it's just cracking the windows don't stay in your apartment in the dark <laughs> but make an effort to uh, go outside see the sunshine get some vitamin D and um, even, you know, do something with somebody. I know we're talking about being unemployed. It don't gotta be expensive. <laughs> Y'all could just go on a walk. Um, but I think getting outside will really help. The third tip that I have is for you guys to schedule some things that you can do. Emphasis on can, because obviously, you know, being unemployed, you probably aren't doing everything that you used to do, especially if you had a job that kept you busy. Um, but that also doesn't mean that you have to just sit around. There's, I'm sure, so many things that you could use this time for. That could be either household chores, like I already exemplify. Um, and you know, if you already have your basic household chores done, you could deep clean your closet, you could clean out your refrigerator, you know, like there's something, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure there's something around the house um, that you could probably take the time to do that you haven't made time to do previously. You could schedule a hobby that you previously, you know, would say, I don't have time for it, or I wish I could do this more, but guess what? Now you got time. I think, you know, when stuff like this happens, when you lose your job, it, it, it does allow you to kind of expand your day-to-day -day outlook of like, huh, it causes you to pause, right, and take a second, just like the pandemic did and say, what can I be doing right now, you know? You might enjoy music, you might enjoy reading, you might have a book that you haven't been able to get to. You might have another hobby. Working out is a great one, but the biggest thing is just keeping yourself busy, you know, um, and not in a like, not in a begrudging way, like, you know, you just have busy work, but these are things, you know, hopefully that you would want to do. And now you just have the time for, and that adds just so much of a sense of, uh, purpose, you know, and like meaningfulness. Um, that's kind of the thing that jobs can often add to our lives. You know, like we're contributing, we're doing something with ourselves. Um, but when that gets taken away, I think it's worth, you know, thinking about, okay, now what can I put my energy towards? And now what can I produce? What can I do? Um, what have I been wanting to do that I haven't been able to? Curl cam. Lastly, but not least, this last tip kind of goes, or can go um, hand in hand with tip number three. But the last tip is to kind of take this time to do some internal work, soul search, reflect and think, um, kind of dig deep even if you need to, to figure out what you want to do next. Obviously everyone's situation is different and sometimes, you know, being unemployed isn't like a super deep thing. Um, but a lot of times it can be, it can leave you questioning like, okay, what am I supposed to be doing right now? What is my purpose? What do I want? I think it's a great time to do some soul searching, some reflecting, some thinking, and ultimately to put that into action and set goals. This part also kind of goes hand in hand or, or that idea of setting goals kind of goes hand in hand with, you know, having someone to hold you accountable. If you set goals, you know, um, a lot of people talk about this but setting goals has so much power setting goals and you know attainable achievable um, goals with like a timeline even I think it's pretty good it can give you a sense of having something to work towards 
And again, you're able to hold yourself accountable and you're able to have someone else hold you accountable. And again, your goals should be, you know, practical um, and mapped out, right, attainable, saying, okay, what do I have to do to get here? Um, and is it realistically attainable? Being unemployed is a great time for that. So great, in fact, that a lot of people discover their true passion and true purpose once they become unemployed. How many people have you heard or seen, uh, you know, that as a result of the pandemic, they started a business or they pursued their dream in some you know respect i think that if you're unemployed um this could just be your blessing in disguise you never know all right guys that is all that i have um i'm a little bit maxed out after recording these two videos and side note man like here i am talking about staying motivated y'all just this is this is the reality here I am talking about being motivated, you know, and it took me so long to record these videos, guys. Like, I was supposed to do this in the morning, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's getting dark outside. Here, I'm just gonna show y'all loft vibes. Oops, nope. Showed y'all too much. My apartment's messy, but it is getting dark outside. If you can see, those blinds are closed over there, but over here, you can see it's getting pretty dark, so it's a work in progress y'all don't be too hard on yourself um all that good stuff give yourself grace and you'll get to where you need to be thanks so much for subscribing leave a comment interact with me and join my little corner of the internet um and obviously subscribe if you haven't um and thank you so much for watching see y'all